In this video, we will see about the stages and clinical features of trauma from occlusion. In the part 1 video, we saw what is trauma from occlusion, what is traumatic occlusal force and what are the classification of trauma from occlusion. So moving on to the stages, there are three stages. Stage 1 is injury stage, stage 2 is repair and stage 3 is remodeling. In the stage of injury, it happens when there is excessive occlusal force and especially furcation is more prone compared to the other sites. And there are three types of forces. The force can be either slightly excessive, it can be greater than that and it can be more than that. So in these three levels of forces, how the periodontium reacts, how the injury occurs, we'll see. So when there is a slightly excessive force, the PDL reacts by widening that is there is widening of the pdl space it is the first reaction when there is more force than more pressure than that there is hyalinization hyalinization is formation of dead tissue due to the blockage of blood vessels hyalinization is a form of a degenerative reaction so when there is more than that more excessive pressure there is undermining resorption that is bone starts resorbing at the place where there is more pressure so the pdl cannot respond by in a positive way in such situations now we also know what is pressure and what is tension side we have learned in the bone development um, uh, lecture class so pressure is the side where the force acts upon tension is the side where the force pulls okay if you consider this as the pdl the fo the area where the tooth compresses the pdl is pressure side and the area where the tooth pulls the pdl is the tension side so we saw in these three uh, examples we saw how the reaction is on the pressure side now we'll see what happens in the tension side in areas of tension mostly the pdl gets pulled and it uh, the pdl gets damaged the ligament gets tarred upon and the blood vessels will get uh, ruptured when there is the tension exceeds the uh, adaptive capacity and there is some force known as jiggling force jiggling force is the force which acts more than one direction normally uh, if, a, if a force is acting in this direction if a force is acting in this direction you can say that pressure is on this side and uh, tension is on this side but what if a force is a jiggling force one time the pressure will act in another direction other time the direction will change so the force will attack the tooth in all the directions such force is called jiggling forces in such sides in such tooth we have areas of pressure and areas of tension all around the tooth so the reaction the response by which the tooth reacts varies accordingly now the stage 2 repair we saw about injury and how the tooth reacted now repair repair always happens in pdl periodontal ligament is constantly in a reparative phase and it happens when trauma is less than the um, reparative capacity of the tooth so the the normal reparative capacity of the periodontal ligament is used and when trauma of occlusion trauma from occlusion is less than the repar uh, reparative capacity of the tooth this repair happens and this repair is seen as buttressing bone formation or bone lipping as commonly known buttressing bone formation we will see what is that it is of two types central and peripheral imagine the tooth is getting weak by the force acting upon so what the osteoblasts will think let me form more bone to support the tooth and this more bone is actually not needed it is a reparative response to the nor excessive force which is acting upon this more bone formation is buttressing bone formation it look, looks like a plateau or shelf like bone apart from the normal crest so this buttressing bone formation when it is peripheral that is when it happens in the periosteum we can see this shelf like thing and if it is in the central bone form, uh, buttressing bone formation the change occurs in the endosteum more bone deposition occurs in the endosteum and we could see that by uh, radiographs which show more radio opacities so these two are the buttressing bone formation and the third stage is remodeling 
Remodeling happens when trauma exceeds the reparative capacity of the periodontium. At this stage, periodontium gives up. Periodontium tries to remodel itself so that the injury will become minimum. It it uh, withdraws itself away from the injurious site. So it doesn't want to get hit more than that. So what will the periodontal ligament do to make it less injurious? The periodontal ligament will move away from the tooth. It will it gets widened so that the trauma will not affect it and the crest will become funnel shaped we all know the normal um, bone it, it will be here but at in a trauma from occlusion the funnel shaped you could see the funnel shape uh, crest here and angular defects in bone are seen angular defects in bone are seen and no pocket formation normally if the inflammation is the main cause we could see pockets in periodontal disease but here there is no pockets unless and otherwise there is secondary involvement or uh, by the periodontal inflammation there is no pocket in pure trauma from occlusion and tooth mobility is seen because there is bone loss and widening of the periodontal ligament now what are the clinical features of trauma from occlusion as we saw in the previous slide tooth mobility will be increased definitely and the radiological features what we could see are increased periodontal ligament space width, thickening of the lamina dura, vertical bone loss, root resorption. All these are the radiographic features which could be noticed. And as I said, TFO does not initiate gingivitis or periodontitis, but it is an additional risk factor definitely. So, I have a question for you. How to diagnose trauma from occlusion? There is a test called Fremitus test. I want you to find out what is Fremitus test and uh, let me know in the comment section. Now moving on to the management of trauma from occlusion. First we have to remove the etiology whether it is aberrant occlusal contact. We have to do the selective grinding as commonly known. High points reduction if it is in restoration. Occlusal remodeling needs to be employed. And after removing the etiology, we can go for splinting if it is a lower anterior tooth, especially for stabilization of the mobile teeth, we could go for splinting. And um, that's all for um, part two of the trauma from occlusion. And before ending this video, we need to announce the question for this video. Drug of choice for morphine overdosage is... See, you know when to send the answers to avail the to participate in the giveaway contest and where to send the answers. Check out our community page for more details. See you soon in the next video.